I'm not one for public speaking, so I'll keep this speech much like my new bride, <laughs> short and sweet. <laughs> <laughs> On behalf of my wife and I, <laughs> I would like to thank everyone for coming today. This day wouldn't be nearly as special without you all being here, um, which we truly appreciate. There's a quote that says, marriage is one of life's greatest adventures, but let me share with you how this venture unfolded. We have to go back in time, three and a half years ago, a month before lockdown. It was time for Phoebe and Cameron's lives to move forward. And as Cameron and Phoebe are adults of this new way of finding love, they went and did a bit of online shopping. <laughs> and as it was with a swipe to the right, they found exactly what they were looking for. Phoebe's maybe not best known for her ability to be on time, but luckily I learned this quite early on when she was a respectable 20 minutes late for her first date. <laughs> All I can say though, is that standing there in that brisk February air for 20 minutes was more than worth the wait, as I've enjoyed every moment I've spent with her since that fateful day at 25. So when I started writing the speech, I was aware of some of the things I'm traditionally meant to say. One of the things, of course, is to recognize and acknowledge how beautiful the bride is. But, you know, looking at Phoebe today, I don't need any reminders or anything written down to, to remind me of that, because, you know, she's absolutely beautiful. Look how stunning she is today, you know, incredible. <laughs> share your vows with Phoebe in the presence of your family and friends. I call upon these persons here present to witness that I, Cameron Tweedy, take you, Phoebe Hendry, to be my lawfully wedded wife. To have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love, respect and cherish, to love, respect and cherish. Forsaking, all others. forsaking all others for as long as we both shall live. Cameron and Phoebe, with authorisation vested in me by the Registrar General of Scotland and before your witnesses, your family and your friends, it now gives me so much pleasure to pronounce you married. Please kiss your beautiful wife, Cameron. Cameron first introduced us to Phoebe after telling us all about the smart, kind, pretty and intelligent girl he was going out with. When we found out it was true, we were all a bit surprised. <laughs> We 
shared a lot of happy memories together, from holidaying in Mull to swinging through the treetops at Goake and moving into our first house together. I cannot even imagine a person I would enjoy doing all of these things with more. I've never met a person more caring, fun or clever and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with them. Ladies and gentlemen, may I ask you to now please be upstanding as I present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Tweedy. Yeah.